cleaning the ball nut on an X50 Onefinity CNC. Note, this machined piece is unused. You are not missing any components. Starting with the 3mm hex key, we're going to remove the four bolts holding the ball nut onto the side of the gantry. With the four bolts removed holding the ball nut to the side of the gantry block, we can now remove the oil port bolt holding it to the back. Once this is removed, we can slide the gantry block off of the ball nut, exposing the internals of it. With the small hex key, we can just knock off the excess dust from the outside of the ball nut. We're not going to push into the rubber washer that is holding the balls inside of the ball nut. We're just going to break loose what is on the outside. We'll repeat that same process on the opposite side, again just freeing up some of the bigger debris on the outside of our ball nut. With all of the bigger pieces of debris removed from the outside, we can use our 3-in-1 oil to flood the ball nut. By flooding the ball nut, we're going to loosen up all of the debris inside, then we can work it up and down the ball screw until all of the debris comes out with that oil. As we work the ball nut back and forth and that debris comes out, we want to make sure that we are keeping the ball screw clean behind it. Coming behind that with a rag, just wiping up any excess is always a good idea. Repeat this process until you don't see any more debris coming out of the ball nut. Now that we've got that all cleaned out, we're ready to reassemble. We want to make sure that our oil port bolt is facing towards the back of the gantry. And we will slide that into place. With that in place, we can now re-secure it using the four bolts on the side of the gantry as well as the one on the oil port on back. This concludes cleaning the X50 ball nut on the 1Finity CNC.